Rico, you were only 11 when Pep came to City. Can you remember when he first arrived? Um, obviously not the exact exact day and stuff like that, but roughly, you know, there was a, a lot of excitement around the building in general, just to have like a new manager and a new, you know, it was like a, a fresh start to the, to the whole club in a sense. But, you know, I just remember being very excited. You know, you, you, you know Peppers, this manager who's managed uh, Barcelona, Bayern Munich, all these massive teams that everyone already looked up to. And now for him to be at the club, it was just, yeah, very exciting for everyone. What were your first impressions of him as a person, as a manager? Uh, a good sense of humour. You know, you, you expect a very strict manager uh, in Pep. And obviously he is uh, when it comes to football, but, you know, he's, he's so welcoming to anyone who comes in. You know, he'll say jokes, he'll, he'll, have, a, he'll have a laugh, he'll, he'll have a good time with you as well, though. So that was kind of shocking to me. How quickly did it feel like things were changing around the place? I think it was straight away, you know, <clears throat> from the style of play that everyone was playing. It goes from literally from my age group, from when he joined like under 10s, under 11s, straight to the first team. Everyone had changed, you know, we all had a philosophy that we had to follow. And now, since probably about this time last year, you've been playing a lot more regularly in the first team. How would you describe how this last year has been for you? Um, it's still, you know, to me, it's still uh, so new and obviously it's amazing. Uh, but it was very unexpected, you know, things can happen so quickly and I think one of the things that I've done well is, you know, dealt with it, how it's come and, you know, not let it get to my head and not overthink about anything. I've just tried to enjoy it as much as I can and, you know, the players in the dressing room and the managers help so much with just helping me settle in. That's really interesting that it was unexpected. Tell us a bit more about that. Um, so, well, it basically started when I was invited onto the pre-season tour in uh, America, which you know, I wasn't even, I don't think I was going to go until like a couple of days before. Like that was one of the things that was like, it, I was very lucky for myself that I was in that situation to be, to be able to go. And then from there, it's kind of, you know, continued. It's really interesting when, you know, we get to talk to players that have been at an academy within a club and then they've made the journey right the way mm -hmm. to the first team. How hard has it been for you within this setup when there's so many world-class players in every position? I think it's very difficult because you look up and you try and see a pathway and you see all these players that are winning Premier Leagues, you know, year in, year out. It's like, how can you be better than some of these players? And, you know, for a lot of players, it, it, it's, it's really difficult to see through that. But I think the main thing for, for me was just not looking at anyone else, just looking at how I can, you know, better myself. and. You know, if I'm better than myself, if it worked out or I didn't, you know, I can only say that I've, I've tried my hardest and, you know, luckily for me, I've been able to, you know, get a little bit of a pathway through and, you know, at the moment it's working out. Did it help that you saw that Phil Foden mm. went on the same journey? Yeah, definitely. I think that was one of the key things when Phil went through and seeing how now he's so, like, beneficial to the squad and how important he is and, you know, vital to, to the way that Pep plays and, Everything like coming from the same position that we were in and seeing that there is a way through. Did you ever did you ever question your path? Did you ever consider any other options? Um, to be fair, not really. I, I always thought I was gonna play for City, but you know, a lot of people will say that and a lot of people want that to be true, but I think I believed it and you know look like I say, luckily for me it's 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 working out as as of now. And you played in central midfield against Leipzig in the Champions League. Pep has always said how versatile you are as a player, but where do you like to play the most? Um, for me, it's not too important where I play. Obviously, I just love playing, especially with this team. But I think I do like playing in midfield a lot because it's more of both sides of the game. I do like to attack and get forward and press high and, you know, be more effective in the, in the final third as well. So I'd probably say in a midfield role like Leipzig, that was one of the, one of the best games I've played. And, you know, it was just um, the position I was in, it was just, I felt so comfortable there. How does it feel as well, knowing how much trust Pep has in you and, and the way he speaks about you so highly? Uh, obviously, it's, it's really good, but, you know, it's, again, it's another thing that's surreal that you don't think a, a manager of that standard, of that level will ever even recognise you when you're, when you're younger. And for him to, you know, show so much respect to me is, I don't know, it's, it's unbelievable. And, yeah, it's, it's just hard to believe still now. 
Does it feel like a dream? No, exactly that, yeah, exactly, exactly. And I, I'm sure you remember him talking about the John Stones role from last year, him moving from defence into midfield, and he actually credits you for helping develop that role for John Stones. Yeah, I don't know. Obviously, I don't see it in that way, you know. I've just, every training session, every game, I've just done what I've been told to do, and, you know, I take the, I'll take the credit they've given me, but I, I believe that it's just all from him. So is the aim for you to eventually be starting every game, hopefully in a midfield role? Yeah, I think the aim is just to keep on getting better and, you know, not rush anything. Just gradually see myself getting better and developing in all different areas that I need to develop in and hopefully one day being, you know, someone that can be trusted on to play in week in, week out and, re and relied on regardless of the position.